It's really got so many people outraged and shaking their head over this one, Dan. That is the big question. Now, according to passengers who spoke um, while this whole thing happened and afterwards, they say they had conversations with the man's wife and that it appears to be the case that he found out just as he was getting on the plane that he was positive for corona and uh, they, that he and his wife chose to fly anyways. They were both in masks and gloves. This is according to other passengers. And take a look at this video now of people getting off the plane last night. They were held on the tarmac from flight 253 that had 114 passengers and crew for about three hours. The two elderly passengers were seen deplaning first with health care workers ready to receive them. The uh, Palm Beach Fire has reported that the, the patient was positive for coronavirus. Um, and listen in now as a passenger talks about his experience sitting in the same row as his wife, who was wearing a mask and gloves. Started at JFK in New York, took off, everything was fine. Normal flight, landed here in West Palm. Uh, person across the way from me was taken to the back of the plane. He was wearing mask and gloves. His wife was sitting in the same row as me. Uh, mentioned to us that he wasn't feeling well and that he had gotten a phone call about his test results right before we took off, implying he had a positive test but not actually saying it. I don't feel good about it. The guy was sitting, you know, five feet from me, uh, and his wife was sitting two feet from me. So, no, not feeling, not feeling great about it. So we've reached out to JetBlue. We've also reached out to the health department to get more firsthand information. We have not heard back from them yet, um, but reportedly passengers were told that they needed to monitor themselves uh, if they were on that plane as well as the the crew members too they're also impacted and that people sitting in the vicinity were given more explicit instructions on exactly what to do so many questions on this one uh, especially when you talk about social distancing of six feet uh, we've got new reports now that the virus may last in the air longer than previously thought uh, we need you know much more direct and succinct information. This all needs to be evaluated as people decide whether or not they are going to take to the skies. And by the way, we don't know if that patient is a resident of New York or of Florida either. So much to really dig into further on this one. And we're waiting for more information. We're live at JFK Airport. I'm Kirsten Colpix, 11 News. Back to